From time to time we get questions from people who have watched our videos asking about my background. So here's a brief summary of me. I've lived in the US since 1982, having gone to school in London and briefly worked there. Some of these names will be forgotten now, but I went through a series of mergers, starting with Manufacturers Hanover Trust and onto Chemical Bank, Chase, and finally JP Morgan. I was in interest rate derivatives from the mid-1980s until 1999, where I ran the trading side. I also sat on the bank's investment committee, allocating its own capital to hedge funds. In 2001, I created a unit to provide seed capital to new hedge funds. In exchange for being an early investor, we got a piece of the business. It was a bit like venture capital investing, because we understood that the real money in hedge funds came from running them, not from investing in them. One of the hedge funds we seeded was Alarian Capital Management, which created the Alarian Index, widely used in the MLP sector. I got to know founders Gabriel Hammond and Kenny Feng pretty well. JP Morgan is a great company, and I'm incredibly proud to have worked there. But by 2009, I was ready to leave. I'd been with them 23 years and spent my time there in fixed income and in hedge funds. When I left JP Morgan, I set up SL Advisors, initially to manage my own money, but before long, friends started becoming clients. That's when Henry Hoffman joined me, and before too long, he became my partner. My experience with Alarian made me decide to keep investing in MLPs. I wrote a book called The Hedge Fund Mirage. It showed that hedge fund investors had done pretty poorly. The early ones in the 1990s did well, but there weren't that many. As money flowed to the industry, returns went down. In the 2009 financial crisis, the industry lost around half a trillion dollars, more than it had made in its entire history to that point. I enjoy writing. I wrote two more books and began a monthly newsletter, which before long was a twice-weekly blog. Our MLP business grew. We partnered with Catalyst to launch the Catalyst Energy Infrastructure Fund in 2014 and later launched an ETF, which became the Pacer American Energy Index ETF. We spent most of our time thinking about the energy sector. Climate change and the energy transition are a big deal. There's a lot of muddled thinking going on there. Fossil fuels are why living standards are the highest in human history. Billions of people in developing countries aspire to Western living standards. I don't believe the world's going to burn itself up if we don't eliminate CO2 emissions by 2050. But we also can't ignore the risk that rising greenhouse gas emissions pose. Someone once said the best way to learn a subject is to write a book about it. My job every day is reading, writing, and talking to clients. Our communication with our clients and readers reflects how we approach investing. Having clients reflects a humbling trust. Our early clients were friends first, but over the years, I'm happy to say, many new clients have also become friends. In summary, I'm a bond trader, a hedge fund seeder, and an energy investor. I tell people I live in the English part of New Jersey, which as you might guess is small. I've lived in America for two thirds of my life. I may not sound it, but I am a proud American. This is a great country, and America's energy sector shows why every day. If you're interested in learning more about the energy sector and interest rates, then don't forget to subscribe and follow us on LinkedIn and Twitter. Our handles are in the description box below. To find out more about what we're thinking, you can sign up for our twice-weekly blog at sl-advisors.com. We always love to hear from you. So if you have any comments or blog ideas, please leave them down below. I'm Simon Lack. Thank you for watching this video.